Thank you, Louise. Right, now we have a call out from scientists this morning. Have you seen any spittle bugs? Would you even know what they look like? Uh, the insects get their name from the frothy spittle they leave on plants in springtime. Yeah, and volunteers are being asked to report sightings of them because it is thought that they could spread a deadly tree disease called xylella. It's uh, feared the disease could soon arrive in the UK and scientists want to be prepared as Helen Briggs has been finding out. Little bugs are easy to spot if you know what you're looking for. Ah, here we go. Here's one. Hidden in bubbles of froth on the stems of plants. Where my pencil is pointing. There we are. We might be able to persuade a little juvenile spittle bug to come out. And there it is. If xylella arrived in the UK, spittle bugs could spread the disease by feeding on the sap of infected plants. Now scientists want help in recording sightings of spittle and fully grown spittle bugs, which are champion jumpers, able to leap more than 100 times their own body length. So we need to learn as much as we possibly can about what kinds of plants they feed on, what habitats they occupy, and where they are in the country. So ultimately, if the worst possible happens and the disease does arrive in Britain, we'll be able to make some really good predictions about how it's likely to spread and how quickly. Xylella arrived in Europe six years ago devastating olive groves in Italy and spreading to other countries in the EU. It's important to remember that Xylella isn't yet in the UK, but if it did arrive, there is a huge number of host plants that could affect. And it's not just in our gardens with the rosemary, the lavender, the hebe. It's actually a wider environment as well, and particularly things that we really care about, so tree species, things like oak trees potentially, um, sycamore trees, ash trees, things that are really key in our landscape. We want to protect those as well as within our gardens. Scientists are calling for thousands of volunteers up and down the country to help map spittle and spittle bugs in gardens, meadows and woodlands. Helen Briggs, BBC News. It is now 